So you want to use a graphing calculator to find the x-intercepts and vertex of the parabola. You still can use um, axis of symmetry to find the vertex, but it's a little more challenging to find the x-intercepts because this function does not easily factor. So what we're going to do is start with um, the Alex calculator, and it's going to open up to the y equals page. Um, this will be if you want to do a calculation, y equals is for typing in equations. The table will be for result afterwards, and then um, graph will show you what it looks like. So we're going to go ahead and go to y equals, um, and that, that one just means equation one. So we want to type in our equation. So f of x, remember, is the same thing as y. So we're going to type in everything after the equal sign. So we're going to type in negative x squared uh, plus 5x minus 9. So you can use your keyboard, or you can use the features of the um, Calculator. I'll show you the first one on the calculator. So we're going to do the minus sign for a negative, and then we're going to put in our x, which is right here with all of these extra symbols. There's your x. And then we're going to square it, and then we're going to add, which is way down here off my screen, uh, 5x, and then you're going to minus 9. So you want to make sure you have um, the equation again exactly like it appears. And so then uh, when you click on table, it'll give you a list of ordered pairs. And then now that we click on graph, it's going to show us a picture of the parabola. So we're going to be able to see right away that it does not cross the um, x-axis. But if you wanted to find the zeros, you would click on the zero um, table, the zero in the table. And it's going to give you these two dotted lines. Well, these are called bounds. So what you're trying to do is figure out where do you want it to calculate where do you want the calculator to calculate where the um, x-intercepts are? So you would calculate um, by opening up the, the boundaries, and then you click Find Zero. And it will it's going to tell you it's undefined because there aren't any. So that's an example of no x-intercepts being found by the calculator. We'll say x is undefined, y is undefined. So then we're going to go ahead and do the extrema. Extrema is another way to say maximum or minimum. And so we click on extrema and I want to find the um, extrema in the region that I give it. So I need to get the top or the bottom of the parabola into the boundaries. And so I just move my right edge over so that the peak of the parabola is in between the two blue lines. And I click find extrema. And so I can see um, these values and I have to decide am I looking for a minimum or a maximum because Alex is going to find both so we need to know that we are looking for the peak so up here on the graph it's telling us x is 2.5 and y is negative 2.75 so that's what I'm going to go ahead and enter in for the vertex is 2.5 and negative 2.75 and then our x-intercepts were none it did not cross the x-axis so that's what we're going to do there all right, so we check that, and now we move on to another problem. So, new problem, f of x equals negative 3x squared minus 4x plus 2. So, again, we go to the y equals on the calculator. And if your equation is saved there, you just click and delete it out. Um, so, now we went negative 3x. And I'm just using my keyboard to type it. Um, again, the squared key is right here under the inverse tangent function. And then we're going to arrow out to go back to not being an exponent. And then we'll put minus uh, 4x plus 2. So I'm going to hit, go ahead and hit graph. And I can see there is my new parabola. I can see that it crosses the x-axis. So now um, to find my zeros, that's another word for x-intercepts is zeros. We click and it gives us boundaries. So here will be one x-intercept, so we're going to go ahead and it, the blue lines are separating. Do not have both of them, I only have one. So one x-intercept is in between those blue lines, so we go ahead and hit find zero. And um, so we've got this decimal and then zero for y, which will have to be always the case. The y value has to be zero if an x-intercept is present. So read the instructions that says round to the nearest hundredth if necessary. If there's more than one x-intercept, separate them with commas. So x-intercept, the first one, um, we're going to use the x value here. So round to the nearest hundredth, 
So we look at the thousands place, that seven is going to change that eight to a nine. So we're gonna put 0 0.39. And then we're gonna have a second X intercept. So I put a comma. Now I'm gonna go ahead and hit clear all and I'm gonna adjust my blue lines to um, intersect or have in between them the intercept. So now the intercept on the left is in between those two blinds. And so I'm gonna hit find zero and there I can see the second X intercept is at negative 1.72, the thousandths is a zero, so that will stay a two, so negative 1.72. Now for the vertex, so again, we're gonna clear all and go and um, actually go back to graph, cancel, there we are. So now we wanna find the extrema, when I wanna find the vertex, so I want that vertex inside my blue lines, um, and again, you could be closer if you wanted to. I just have it spread out just as long as the vertex peak of the graph or the valley, whichever one is in between the two blue lines. So now we find extrema. And down here, uh, again, the minimum one negative five. And that's just because that's where that blue line is. Or excuse me, that's where this blue line is on the right. And then our maximum is the one we're looking for because we want to find our, um, our peak. Um, so we're going to um, find the vertex at negative 0 0.67, so negative two-thirds there. And then we're going to do 3.33 and make sure we have the hundredths value. Um, and we're going to go ahead and do that, and we've got it. So that is how you'll use the Alex graphing calculator to um, graph these parabolas. And again, to clear this out, you just um, go to the Y and you can select it and delete the problem and start over when you need a new one.